and go. Oh, welcome back. I'm Lindsay. If you're new, we are heading to Home Depot. If you've watched my whole house clean with me or my last video, which is a day in the life of a stay at home mom, you'll notice that the bookcase in my living room is half finished. It's on one half of the wall and not the other. And today we're going to set ourselves up to remedy that tomorrow. So we're heading to Home Depot. We're going to get our materials and then we're going to start work on that. Uh, we may cut pieces when we get back home. We'll just have to see how much time we have because we're kind of running late today. It's already one o'clock. So I'll just take you guys along with us. I could stay like this forever following you. Just don't get too far. Are you getting tired yet? No. No? Crazy. What are we going to do now, boss? Shake it. Uncle fell asleep. Sweet little thing. We're getting Ollie's help here to clean off the porch so we have room to work on this bookshelf project. We've been needing to do this for quite some time, but it's been so hot out that we've been avoiding it. But that ends today. And Jay's just taking everything out that doesn't belong on the porch. He's taking it out to our storage unit. I've been needing to unpack this box for a year. Yep, it's been sitting on my porch full of stuff that I need for my kitchen for a year. So some of it's going in the trash and a couple of things are going inside, but whatever it takes, I'm emptying this box. Our insulation came in early. So that's what that is right there because we had to have somewhere to store it. So it was kind of taking up our whole little storage unit right there. But that project will be coming up soon. We're insulating under the house. We've done it before. We gotta do it again because of this one right here, Ruby. Yeah, she tore out all of our insulation under the house. We've remedied that so she can't do it again, but now we just have to redo it. So we love redoing stuff that we've already done because of a dog, it's great. So my grandma showed me this trick of using your broom to scrub down, scrub down your deck and it works really, really well. I'm living in 
description box also if you wanted to purchase them on Amazon yourself but I'll just show you what we're gonna be using first of all we have these Ryobi battery operated tools we've had we've had the set it comes with I think uh, two drills uh, they're different somehow Jay knows how I don't know I don't care and then um, this thing and it came, it came with a couple of other things like a flashlight and one of those multi-use tools. But we've had that for about four years. We did not have uh, electricity out here when we started building the house. And we pretty much built our whole house just with these battery, battery operated tools. They are really great tools so I would suggest them to anybody. Another thing that we'll be using is this Craig Jig set. Ooh. See, it's a pocket hole jig and this one is made by Craig we got this whole set this here it had a couple it had a couple of the screws to go with it but we haven't used any of that we've just bought our own um, but this one is really awesome like if we didn't have this I think we'd be in trouble we used it for our countertops also to do to, to put our countertops on our cabinets so it's a great set as well we're gonna measure and cut all of our boards and then we're gonna put pocket holds in them to attach the verticals to the tops and to our countertop that we already have in there. And then we're gonna go in and put them up. up having to unscrew <laughs> unscrew the tops of these and put them in because they were so tight but you want them to fit tight so that's okay but we just had to adjust the way we were doing it a little bit
our frame is done. Boop, even the window shelf. Look how good it looks. So we're gonna eat lunch and then come back and do the shows. I have a question. Is the pencil in the hat a pro tip? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Pro tip. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it's at. <laughs> These are quarter inch holes and they go in half an inch deep. So on my drill bit here, I'm just going to put a piece of tape at half inch where it needs to stop. So it'll be a quick reminder of how deep to go when we're drilling the holes. I let Jay put the shelves in because I did the other side and it may or may not be uneven on every single shelf. All right, so you got your one side in. Lay it down on there. Put your level across there. Then you come down. Make sure your bubble's in the middle. And take the score line. You, you mean you don't just wing it and then throw some pieces of paper under it if it's not level? done this one is a little wonky but I told him to leave it if it bothers us we can always fix it later it's just moving the shelf pins up but I think it's fine I'm just glad that it's done and I've got a ton more storage now so I will what I'll do is I'll paint all these and restyle the shelves and I'll just make that another video so if you guys want to see that and you haven't already subscribed go ahead and do so now I have new videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday ranging from building projects to vlogs to cleaning videos grocery hauls and a lot more so go ahead and hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss it